Where have the war protesters gone? I grew up in the 60s during the Vietnam War and war protesters ended the Vietnam War. Today our country is involved in five unconstitutional, undeclared wars. Congress did not approved these wars. These wars were ordered by the UN and the treasonous Obama ordered our troops in without Congress approval. Five wars, I heard that uh, their non-civilians are killed for every supposed enemy that is killed over there. And where are the war protesters? I know all the hippies uh, who were protesting the Vietnam War, uh, they're still alive. Why is it that uh, no one is out there protesting these five illegal unconstitutional wars? I live in a major metropolitan area. I thought surely during the 4th of July there would be some war protests somewhere in my area. There are a couple million people living in the uh, in this metropolitan area and the surrounding areas. I could not find a single war protest. There are plenty of people out at 4th of July parades waving their flags, supporting our troops. If you really want to support the troops, folks, get them out of these undeclared, unconstitutional United Nations genocidal wars. So not being able to find a war protest to go to on the 4th of July, I decided to do my own little protest here. And uh, this is a, the sign that I made to put out in front of my house. I live on a very busy street and there are a lot of people who drive by and see this sign. And it, this sign isn't just there for the 4th of July. It's, uh, it, it's out there all the time. Now, uh, I'm going to leave this sign out there and protest this war until we can finally end this war. In his novel, 1984, George Orwell talked about endless wars. The 1984 actually served as a model. The uh, George Orwell, it turns out, was a globalist and his uh, he admitted before he died that his novel was not totally fiction but it was actually the plan and in the United States today we're in many ways we are much much worse off than in 1984 but one of the things that occurred in 1984 is the government was always engaged in war and they had no intention of winning these wars the wars were mainly for the purpose of keeping the people constantly living in fear and what are we seeing today with all the supposed terrorist threats that they're concocting. But the wars were to keep people living in fear so that the government could institute a perpetual uh, police state or martial law and so the government would have an excuse for taking all of the rights away from the people in the pretense of protecting them. And how true that has become today. We are living in 1984 and in many ways it is much worse than 1984. Get out there folks and let's put an end to these wars. Five undeclared unconstitutional wars and they have plans for more I'm sure. Get out there and, and protest and let's stop these endless wars. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.